Right then, here we go folks, we're not far really now. North Hill will be over there somewhere. Here's the little seat that I sat on in September 2019. I sat there and over there you could see Steep Home. You could see Steep, you could see steep Home. You could see other features nearer to where I, I live as well as over there. But today we've come on a different day. It's grey. It's watery. So now I'm going down. I really loved this when I seen it. It hit me. Mass. It's like a mass of green. And, and it was just like, wow. You know, it was like that. A feeling of wow. I'm absolutely plastered. I've only just put the umbrella down for a minute. I'm hoping I can video going down here before the next burst comes. I just want to zoom in over there. I expect it's bracken, but I can just see something. I wonder if it was deer. Yeah, it's probably bracken. But I just remember this. This and the other hill, what I'm on now, hitting me. I can remember seeing these people I'd met walking along this narrow path. I was over there and I watched them come up here and I thought, am I going to be able to do that? You know, am I going to be able to do that? You can see this narrow path from a distance and uh, it's just amazing really. Don't trip, Sheila. I do tend to trip. I'm a trippy girl. And I walked up this, of course. Don't forget September. And I walked down that. I'll have to walk up that. And here's this beautiful view, which I viewed with blue skies, don't forget. Completely different in feeling with, and hot. And I was excited then. I'm still excited because, okay, it's grey and wet. You've got to do stuff in the grey and wet as well. Sometimes, obviously, we all choose to do uh, dry and blue. Oh, that wind is quite... It's getting a bit nippy, but I'm not putting my jumper on yet. Because I've got, a good, I've got to get up that hill yet. Up there would be the... North Hill, then down through the ancient wood to Minehead. Well, I haven't done it in reverse that way, so let's hope we can find our way. I expect when I get down in the cumin in a minute, it'll be no breeze. The other people are following. They're, they're way off yet. But they are coming. <sighs> yeah, I'm not hungry. I'm glad I had the breakfast. Not a big heavy one. I'm going to have the full breakfast tomorrow. The lot. <sighs> you need it. <sighs> I've got a lot of personal stuff going on at the moment as well with family that I'm worried about um, so I don't know what's going to happen there yet and they're going to phone me tonight there was nothing I could do so they just said carry on doing your walking is that there, is that somebody camping could be a little tent that you just have to camp where you, want, where you can you know the only thing is um, ticks I picked that up, didn't I, naked eye. It's a little dot of orange. It looks like a little tent. Uh, basically, you can't where you, you can't where you can, but they do advise you to carry pesticide with you.
probably fling these socks as well. I don't want to carry... I mean, I might not, because I flung the other pair and I shouldn't have done. They weren't quite good socks, really. They needed a boil. <sighs> yeah, it's breezy. But like I said, when I go down in that coom in a minute, I imagine that the breeze will go over the top of my head. And I'll make a steady climb up that. It's just a steady climb. It's not like the other coom I went up. Hurlstone Coombe, that is the big one really. I'm so proud of myself doing it though. I really am proud that I got myself up it. Um, I, I was worried whether I could do it. <sighs> to be quite honest, I was thinking, can I do it? Am I going to put my heart at risk doing it? I'm breathing. It actually, believe it or not, having to use my rib cage like that it energised me. I know it sounds weird. It really cleared my bloody lungs up. <sighs> Opened them right up. <sighs> Long climb up there, isn't it? <sighs> steady. Steady. Steep bit there. Steady. We've done it, Shell. You've done it. When you see these hills there, you know you're back in, even far from my head. When you first get here, you know you're a long way from Porlock. But it's a lovely walk. I'm glad I've done this one. Because it is beautiful. You know, it's beautiful. It's easy just to walk up the top where it's all flat. And you do get fantastic views. And I will be doing that again at some point. Because otherwise you miss out on the views the other side of the hill and that. No, I've had a couple of years now of really doing well on the coastal walks, exploring woods and different villages over this way. I haven't got to Orr yet. Orr is going to be one of those places that I've got to get to and it will uh, make me come back. It will make me come back. Out there we've got... A little bar and I spat in there. Our little home once. Can hear the water trickling. That's that sheep over there. Let's have a look. I see something white. I pick things out very quickly. There, it's a rock. Do a bit of a video while we can. Right, I'm going to turn off now, because I want to take some pictures from here, over and out. Right then, here's this lovely hill, it's got a name. I'll look it up later when I do the video narration write-up type thing. I did, I got it all down, I, I did it all last year as I approached this way and seen people walking up it. I was just overwhelmed with this these hills. It's great. Yeah, it's great. All we've got to do is get up this slow little climb now. Up to the top. And then we'll be... <sighs> down through the wood. A nice gentle day's walk in the muck as well. And the time is, we got picked up at nine o'clock. It's quarter past two. It took, I don't know what time it was, but uh, I think I, I had to walk from Porlock up to Bosington to the, through the village. I was taking my time the whole time. Didn't, I knew it would only take two or three hours to do this. So by the time I started walking up the hill, it must have been half past 10, 11. So three hours, yeah, from the top, yeah. Dead, dead right. And I'm just doing a little bit of video. While it's not raining, a couple that was way back. I seen them when I got to that corner 
over there where the little stone seat was. I seen they must have run. Because they were way back. They were trying to catch me. I was like the marker for them. But I, I had to stop because my... Not memory. My um, power needed doing. I mean, my ba these batteries need a proper charge up. Um, when I get home. They're certainly not charging up. I don't think the power... Is, they must restrict the power in the... Uh, hotel room so that you can't sort of have a drill go in or anything I've just seen those people they've stopped again let them go on they stopped there slow really they must have run that bit you know to catch me up they were a long way off I'm just going to stop here for a minute. They must have run. They were bombing down there. Like it was a race. Just let them get up there out of the way. Beauty, peace. It's weird though, I feel like I can smell pot. That sounds weird. Not a skunk, but just marijuana. Just waiting here for a minute. 